Last week, we talked about mental health. We talked about the negative side of solitude, which is loneliness. Loneliness occurs when solitude shuts life out. It shuts the world out. It takes away from ourselves. But solitude doesn't have to be that way. Conversely, when we are in maybe a period of contemplation where this solitude is driven by insight and personal growth and a re replenishment of the spirit, we might spend a day in bed reading a book and go, oh, I'm so glad I did that. I really needed that. And now I have replenished myself and can go do the hard things. I think that we can all agree this day and age, our lives are much busier and we are overstimulated most of the day, most days. And so it is within us to say enough is enough. I need a break. I need to tune out or hop off the radar enough so that I can go in, be in thought, less stimuli, um, quiet, and do the personal growth and insight that comes from those times when we are left with our own self. Relationship experts are quick to point out that even soulmates need to take some time apart. It rejuvenates their soul, which makes them more caring and reliable partners. During COVID, um, a lot of couples had problems because they were together all the time. Nobody went anywhere. And so the invention of doing things together but apart, being in the same house, but creating separation, having two different spaces to entertain. Couples tend to do better when they have the together, but they know also how to come apart and have that individuation from each other. Now, I'm addicted to solitude, but even more so when facing major life decisions. Much like how the Christian scriptures say that Jesus went out alone in the desert to face down the temptations of the dark side. And if you look at Muhammad, he would go and spend time in, in the cave. If you look at Buddha, he spent time, you know, enlightenment began in time in the forest. If you look at indigenous cultures, the vision quest. Life is a balancing act, and countless studies have shown that solitude actually lowers cortisol levels. You know, think about the times when you have your best ideas. Think about the times when you're most creative. Uh, often it's you're going for a walk in nature, you're gardening, you're listening to music. So isn't it interesting that you are your most creative self, that you connect with, with some deeper wisdom when you take the time to just be quiet, to, to be still. Albert Einstein once said, I live in that solitude that is painful in youth, but delicious in the years of maturity. The Hebrew for be still, that is translated be still, doesn't mean um, be quiet. It actually, literally, the Hebrew means stop grasping, stop striving, um, stop controlling, and just be. I'm not antisocial, I'm just pro-solitude. And for Central Oregon Daily News, I'm Scott Elness.